I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. I want to raise another question uh, before I go to another break, and that is that uh, here's some things I want to just suggest, uh, because I don't think that we really and fully understand the dynamics, and I don't think the news people, as I raise the question, who who put together Nick, Nick Fuentes and Kanye West, who did that? And why is it now that you got young black men like Kanye West and Kyrie Irving and a whole lot of others who haven't stepped out on the stage are publicly, fully denouncing Jews in a public way? I don't think we realize all of the storm clouds that are brewing. But here, if Trump is indicted, I don't believe the FBI agents, there'd be some that would not go to arrest him, Trump. If, if Trump is indicted. And I don't think he would surrender. You know, if Trump is indicted, I don't think that you could ever have a trial. You make you try to have one in absentia. I don't, you know, I, I think it would start, and I don't have, the, I'm not trying to stir up trouble. I'm not trying to be a troublemaker, you know, and I don't have this as an absolute, absolute. I'm just, my ear to the ground about what's going on in America right now says that they would never get Trump in handcuffs. They would never get him in a courtroom. And I think that it would cause an immediate separation of authorities of the police, FBI, CIA, Home, uh, Homeland Security and Secret Service, I think you find a quick, if you will, disillusion. And that they'll say, no, you're not going to take him. You're not going to. I don't, you know, I just. This is a real dilemma. And not because I'm supporting Trump. You know, I'm not. Not because I'm trying to stir up trouble. I'm not trying to do that either. I'm just saying that I just don't see Trump standing in a courtroom letting the judge read some charges and ask him if he's guilty or not guilty, standing beside some shyster lawyer. I don't say a shyster lawyer. I just, it's not all lawyers. Well, anyway, I don't see it. I'll tell you what, if, if he wasn't, if Trump is, is indicted, immediately they're gonna, people are going to come to his rescue, is what I'm trying to say. They're not going to let it happen. They're not, they're not going to let you do it. They, you know, Peter let, Careful send the boys arrest Jesus. Peter, first of all, when they came to arrest Jesus, now I'm not comparing Donald Trump to Jesus. Good Lord have mercy. Anyway, I, I think that there are going to be people saying, no, you're not going to do this. This is it. You're not going to. You're not going to. You're not going to arrest Trump. You're not going to. You can indict him all you want, but you ain't going to arrest him. And at that point, America splits and divides and there'll be no putting the Humpty, Humpty Dumpty back together again. I think Trump knows that. But here, here's something perhaps you've not thought about. If Trump is indicted and potentially he does get arrested, Kim Jong-un is going to attack South Korea. Kim Jong-un needs South Korea. He needs, he needs to go down there. He needs that for his people, to feed his people. You know, he, he needs, and he needs, Trump, Kim Jong-un is a young man on the political stage. He's probably the youngest of world leaders right now. And he needs, he's on a political stage. He's got China by the keysters. But if he could take South Korea, while America is now at civil war because of the arrest of, 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 of tribulation Trump, He's going to go down and he's going to take South Korea. And America's going to be too embroiled in their own problems to say we're going to send forces to protect South Korea. They ain't going to be able to do that. The, the, the America, you can't even get the, the army will be in, in, a, in a disarray. America, the economy of America will be in disarray. And, and Kim Jong-un could just march over the 38th parallel down into South Korea. And the soldiers, I think we have, what, a couple hundred thousand soldiers, I think. Maybe not that many. That's on the that's in Korea or stationed off the Isle of Korea. But I don't. I, I think that Kim Jong Un will wipe them out in two minutes. And not just that, but China. See, when Americans got all these problems, that uh, they went to arrest the former president, FBI agents 
wooden uh, fighting the FBI, FBI, there's internal fighting, there's all kind of stuff going on. The, the people have shut down businesses, banks have shut down. America got this turmoil going on. Be a great time for Kim Jong Un to take. South Korea and for China to take Taiwan because America will be too embroiled in our own problems to try to go solve the problems of the world. And I think Russia will set off a nuke uh, in Ukraine and tell Zelensky, come out that hiding hole and I'm, I'm taking Ukraine and th then nobody will be able to do anything about it. That would be, you know, that that's the strategy that would be, and I, and I think the world, and I think that the other thing is that whether it happens this way or not, I, I think that something of this order is going to take place because Jesus prophesied it. Something of this order is going to take place if Trump gets indicted. And Merrick, Merrick Garland, you know, trotted out yesterday like, Trump, we're coming for you. We got your boy, uh, Stuart Rhodes, we're coming for you next. So um, I suspect that... Uh, if I can turn a corner for just a second, I suspect that the liberal media um, is secretly supporting uh, Herschel Walker. I'll, I'll come back to that. I'm going to take a break, but I want to tell you why I believe that as well. And I don't think America is ready. I don't think anybody is ready. If you have not given yourself over to study of the tribulation, I don't think anybody on the planet is ready what's going to happen in the year 2023.